JBA of England 2010 final at under 57 kilos. Introducing in the red corner and representing the Repton Amateur Boxing Club, London, Martin Ward. And in the blue corner, representing the Everton Red Triangle Amateur Boxing Club, Liverpool, Ryan Farag. In the blue corner, Farag. In the red corner, Ward. Seconds out, first round. Well, in this bout, we really do have a local hero in Martin Ward, wearing the green and yellow trunks of the famous Repton Amateur Boxing Club from uh, right here in Bethnal Green. And he literally has come down the road for this final against Ryan Farag from the Everton Red Triangle Club in Liverpool. Yeah, you're right, Phil, local boy. But what's great about both these clubs, Everton Red Triangle, and Repton have got both got great tradition, always produce fantastic boxers. And I'm sure you're going to see another two here tonight. Ward, I guess, would come into this just slightly as the favourite, having been uh, singled out to join the Great Britain development squad. Good left right there from Ward. It's a first senior ABA final for both these fighters, though Martin Ward was twice successful at junior level, 2007 and 2008. So he really does have uh, a winning pedigree. Good right hand there from him. Ryan Farag. Pushing him back. Well, to some extent, it was a real surprise that uh, Farag made it to the final because he beat the 2008 European gold medalist Luke Campbell in the semis. Campbell was a hot favourite to go all the way at this level. So that's an amazing achievement to beat that young man. Well, Campbell steps up from 54 kilos to 57. But you see Farag is very strong, having a bit of success himself. To left hook to the body, into the head. He's slightly the uh, shorter of the two, but he's really stockily built, is Ryan Farag. Good shots there from Martin Wall. Again, got that kind of nice elusive style in and out, but looks very, very strong. Yeah, I like the way this one's shaping up already because there is a, a real contrast. Languid style of Ward against the all-action Farag. Nice quality shots there from Ward on the counter. Farag being the aggressor. Oh, quality shots. Yeah, Ward is Can fighting be. a clever, clever fight. Very good first round for him. Farag came out, well, all guns blazing. But uh, Martin Ward pretty quickly doused the fire and managed to dish out plenty of punishment himself. Yeah, I'm sure Tony Burns, Repton Soprino, would be really happy with his man that first round. You see a bit of the action here. Well, he's uh, one of those fighters who just oozes quality, isn't he? You just look at him and... He does, but, you know, in Ferrag, you know, it, he's very strong. He's got to be the aggressor here. But again, feel another excellent contest. Warming up nicely. And I said it earlier on, but become an ABA champion, something Second special. Down. Second round. Award at just uh, 18 years old is certainly one to make a note of. Yeah. 
has already been successful at, at international level ball. Got nice fast hands, as you said, Phil. Well, he just looks a really good natural mover in the ring, and that helps him to attack and also helps him to get out of trouble occasionally as well. Farag is uh, striving here, but I don't think he's quite yet come up with the formula to really trouble his opponent. Now, Wolf, Wolf uses that, that wide stance, nice, elusive hands, leans back out of the way. You see, you know, he used a lot of feints. Very caught him a good left hook there. Ryan Frag, 22 years of age, hasn't had that many amateur bouts in his career, so he's something of a, a late bloomer. But he clearly has talent, but he also clearly has his hands full here with Ward. As you said, Phil, the stakes are high, Commonwealth Games later in the year. Both boys having success with the right hands. Inside the last minute of the second round. Ward working well to both the body and the head. It's been a pretty accomplished opening round and three quarters for Martin Ward so far. Martin Ferrell is trying hard. Nice skills here from Ward getting out of the way of the shots. The referee's having to show some pretty nifty footwork to get out of the way of uh, Ward so quick as he ran the ring. Occasionally, there is some joy for Ryan Farag, though, something for him to cling on to. And he's clearly got good support. Another excellent man, Phil. Yeah, Ward just uh, nicking it for me again. Interesting to see Tony Burns. He's been at Repton all his life. Well, he is Mr. Repton. Got an MBE. So richly deserved. I always remember when I was boxing fields as an amateur. If you ever box a Repton kid, you knew he's about. You knew you, you knew you had a hard night's work. Ward was a, a European youth champion last year Second in Poland. Down. And unless something goes horribly Third wrong here, he's last round. on his way to becoming a senior AVA champion. Hometown is uh, Romford in Essex. I'm sure Ryan Ferrig will have something to say about that, Phil. You know, his AVA titles are special. Good body shot there from Martin Ward. But Farrag coming right back at him. What's his name on that ABA title? I saw a great quote uh, leading up to this fight from Ryan Farag when he said he, he hates watching all those boxers with neat, fancy styles because that's not for him. Well, unfortunately, he's come up against one with a very neat, fancy style who's been pretty good so far tonight. And with that style, we've got to work that much harder, which Ryan is. Give him his due, you know, for the first bell, he's been really trying. He's having some, some success. Stop, stop, stop. 
towards uh, head guard, coming away from uh, the top of his head. So we'll just get the uh, headgear sorted out before the contest can resume. Head guards, of course, uh, mandatory in amateur boxing these days. Wasn't always the case. Now they come in officially through 1990. Head guards. Just after you hit somebody so hard, Mickey, that uh, they thought they'd better look after them. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, a lot of boxers find them a hindrance. But it's good for the safety of the sport. We're going back to Back to his 57 kilo final. Nice left up there. Farag really is striving. He's, he's straining every sinew, but just doesn't seem to be landing enough punches for my money. But he's trying so hard, Phil. Well, that's certainly one thing you can't uh, hold against him. He's given it his all here this evening. And he may just have uh, been up against the better fighter. Reps and coach Tony Burns wants, might want to be more busier. He shows he's got the skills, but he's got to be more productive. Chili's letting Farag work him now. Going for a body shot and referee called it low. It was, yeah, was going to say ball Ward, Ward's gesture almost implored the referee to step in. Good quality shots there from Wall. He's picked the pace up again. And he's trying to finish with a real flourish now, Martin Ward. He wants to send out a message here tonight. And I think that message is that uh, he reckons he is number one. As we said, 2012, down the road from him, he could probably walk to the, to the Olympic Stadium. Well, he'd be 20 years old, would uh, Martin Ward, by the time the London Games come around. Again, another excellent contest, Phil. Yeah, that really was terrific. For me, the uh, best display so far this evening. Very talented young man. Martin Ward. It's uh, not to take anything away from the efforts of Ryan Farag. Stephen Murphy from Henderson Insurance Brokers. And I've got the feeling that the uh, lucky blue corner has uh, just run out of good fortune. Boxers. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The result about number four by a computer score of 18 points to three. The winner and the ABA of England 2010 champion at under 57 kilos, Ward in the red corner. A new appreciation, please, for Farag in the blue corner. Well, a great effort from Ryan Farag, but as the scoring suggested, in the end, ultimately outclassed by Martin Ward. And Repton have another fine prospect on their hands. Make no bones about that. They certainly do feel this man is extremely talented. And you can tell, you know, his ABA final at such a young age, he thrived on it, didn't he? He actually enjoyed the occasion. It was class for it throughout but Ryan Farrell has got nothing to be ashamed of he come every second of that fight he's looking to win I'm sure we'll see also a lot more of him in the future Ward you can see really milking the moment he wants to shake hands with everybody inside the arena just amazing feeling of Phil becoming ABA champion well, it must be a great release because it's such a long road to get here and then to finally win the title, it's... That's what people don't realise, you know, you start probably in January and now we're into May. And they go through so many different eliminators to get here. And this, and this is the cream of the country. 
here tonight. And as you can see with the quality. So Martin Ward just uh, posing for the photographers and hopefully we'll be able to grab a word with the champion if we can. Here, here he is, here is, uh, here is Martin, the champion. Uh, you look like you were really enjoying that out there. Yeah, really enjoyed it tonight. Uh, last one, last one on the team here at in my hometown. I really wanted to bring, bring the title back home to Bethlehem Green. So thank God I've done it now, so really did enjoy it, really did enjoy it, yeah. Fast hands, fast feet, fast thinking, generally. Yeah, I'll just try to get up in the first round. After the first round, I take it as it comes. But I do try to get my points up in the first round. But in the last round, the only, only round I relax, really. And uh, let my shots go a bit more relaxed. Uh, moving around the ring as I do, counter-punching. And it all worked well. Come well in the end. But credit to your opponent. He, he, he gave you a good run for your money, didn't he? All credit to, to Ryan Farr. He's done very well throughout the ABAs. He's beat uh, a lot of good kids on the way up. Three uh, England internationals. Won a uh, European champion, he's done very well. I've got to give all credit to him. He's just tapping on the back, he appreciated the comments yeah. there. Uh, very well done to you, uh, ABA champion 2010. Thanks very much, I'm delighted. Cheers, mate. For all boxing, info, news, and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across and off, click and subscribe. VIP, boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.